At a point when people begin to have pain that is uh, not lasting the length of time we expect for treatments, then we start to think the medicines are not strong enough. We go on to the next step, of course, the injections in the joint. They sometimes last several weeks to several months. So if a person's only getting three or four months out of it, then sometimes what we have to do is begin to start thinking about surgery. At the point at which deformity either is bad enough that it's, uh, the joint is so crooked that straightening it out is the only way and replacing the surface is the only way we're going to get the person out of pain, then we of course have to do that. But pain seems to be the big modulator of how long we go before we begin replacing joints. Well, if, if we simply scope the knee or the joint that has the arthritis and clean it out, that type of surgery, the rehab is very quick. It's a week to two weeks and people are pretty much doing what they used to do. When we start talking about joint replacements, when those take a little longer, the person who's in their 50s and 60s rehabs very quickly. Typically in two to three weeks, they're back doing just about everything. When we get people in their 60s, 70s, 80s, we begin to see a little longer rehab, usually four to six weeks. At six weeks, most people have healed from the joint replacements that we do. Our generation, the generation of joggers and this future generation are people who want to stay active their entire life. The key is if you want to do the activities you really enjoy, no matter what they may be, the key is to be pain free because you're more likely to do that. And that's what joint treating arthritis is all about, is to allow people to be as active as they possibly can until the day they die.